In a surprise visit to Kyiv, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. This is the third time Blinken has visited Ukraine since the start of Russia's large-scale invasion, the Ukrainian presidential press office said in a statement. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov reacted to the U.S. decision to send ammunition with depleted uranium to Ukraine, saying, the U.S. will bear full responsibility for the consequences of the use of shells with depleted uranium. French President Emmanuel Macron stated that there will be no Russian flag at the Olympic Games in Paris. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that they oppose the continuation of the European Union's restrictions on Ukrainian grain exports and said if it is necessary to fight for Ukraine and the common European foundations in arbitration courts, we will do it even if we don't want to. A Russian rocket attack targeted the city center of Konstantinivka in eastern Ukraine, hitting a marketplace with shops and cafes. At least 17 people were killed and 32 others were wounded in the attack. Britain has announced that it will recognize Russia's private military company Wagner as a terrorist organization on the grounds that it poses a threat to global security. However, the Kremlin claimed that Wagner does not legally exist. Britain's decision will come into force on September 13th. What do you think about the developments? We are waiting for your opinions.